If you're thinking about getting into model railroading or you're already an addict, boy do we have a project for you. In this episode, we install the logging ramp in the logging camp. And we tear out some of our brand new mountain to do it. Starting right now. Welcome to It's My Railroad, the how-to show for regular people. This is a show about me working my way through model railroading as a regular guy. Uh, I've learned a ton. I show you my techniques, my tips, and all the things I screw up on. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. We're really having a lot of fun with the community. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Hey, just before we get into today's episode, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, last episode, as I was uh, making that log loading ramp, I used a bunch of logs uh, to do it, and then um, I forgot to tell you guys how I made the logs. Matter of fact, I didn't even refer to it, did I? Sometimes it happens. So here's the deal. Um, I made those logs the same way we did in episode 108, how to make logs. Uh, there's a card above my head, a link in the description that will take you there, and you can check out that video. Um, the only difference is this time I actually applied that to some toothpicks that I used as little logs too. So there you go. Now we're all caught up. All right, so what are we going to work on today? Well, today we are going to install that brand new log loading ramp up in the logging camp. Uh, problem with that is uh, I didn't allow for enough space to put it. So right out of the chute, we're already going to be hacking into our brand new mountain. Yay. Uh, that ought to be a lot of fun, right? Uh, anyway, it's the regular guy curse. You guys have seen it before. We will overcome it one way or another. So I think it's a great idea to get in there right now and work on it. What do you think? Oh, you agree with me. So let's get on it right now. Okay, so we uh, got that little sucker sitting up in there. I think where we want it. A little work to do to keep it stable, apparently. But anyway, there you go. So uh, I can already tell it's not exactly sitting exactly where we want it. I thought we deserved a special treat, though. So I'm going to have the Shea actually bring in a car to uh, take a look at how this is going. Well, right off the bat, I actually see a problem in that the top of these are supposed to be flush with the top of that car so it sits up about I guess an eighth of an inch too high we can fix that though moving further down uh oh uh, <laughs> okay so it's hitting the log loader ramp yeah okay all right all right all right all right okay before my uh, my shade crew goes on strike we're gonna just get them out of there real quick and so I guess what we need to do then is, uh, or what I need to do anyway, is go through and figure out how to lower that an eighth of an inch and to square it up on the tracks. Now to move it back, we've already established that there's this, uh, there's this issue here that we tried to address when we built the mountain. And I think it's looking like it's hitting right here so i think some way we're gonna have to go through and cut this out a little bit get this set and then try to uh figure out a way to feather back in the scenery to the log loading ramp i think for starters we need to just take this down further right here that little piece let's just see if we can get in there with the little hobby saw and make that happen Yeah, the bad news is we're cutting into uh, our, our freshly built mountains. Uh, the good news is that's going to be under the log loader ramp that we know of. And uh, not the end of the world. Another quick little test fit. Well, I got us pretty close in my humble opinion. Let's have Mr. Shea bring the car back in. So the old uh, Popewood car says it's got to go back a little bit more. 
and looking at it, it's it's right in the same place that we just butchered. So let's get the pulpwood car out of there. And we get to run our trains while we're doing this. Isn't that totally cool? I love this. I'm having so much fun right now. Wow, 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 wow. All right. All right, we'll just stop the shade right there. Go ahead and pull that out. Really, I just think it's it's back up here, this little outcropping. Mm, well, I'll set this little guy back in there. Push it all the way up. You know, it just occurs to me, we may have another problem. Once I lowered an eighth of an inch, I may have to cut some more out of that crap. Actually, I can see right now where it's raised up. This is too high back here on the ground. It's too high there, and it's too high here. I, I think what we're going to do, uh, what I'm going to do real quick, quick is, is go through and get rid of my little uh, ding dong. Get, get rid of these high spots I left in here. I didn't mean to, and I also didn't know they would really be a factor. I think what I'll do is get it close with this, and then I can trim the legs um, in the couple places it's hitting. I can trim the legs to make them sit down further, and we'll call it a day, maybe. Now, Steve, why didn't you make the log loader before you did all this? You know what? I wanted some mountains up here, baby. That's the way I roll. I just wanted to see some mountains with some green on them and actually uh, be able to run trains up here feeling like I'm in a logging camp of some dimension. All right. Yeah, shoot, one little piece left. Yeah, I can also tell it's, it's sitting on here, too. That's got to come out. Much closer, anyway, to reality. I, it still sits up too high, I think. But let's bring uh, let's bring the shea back in, shall we? And we're gonna skip the scale speeds because we're in a hurry. Well, it gets to the end, but uh, my friends, it's. Uh, it's way too close at the end. We have a little bit more to take out, I'm afraid. And checking the height. We have a pretty consistent eighth of an inch to take out. So I think if I just snip the bottom of those things an eighth of an inch, for starters, we'll see how that works. I'm going to go to the hobby table and cut an eighth of an inch off every leg you see there. And then uh, we'll bring it back up and see how it fits. Okay, so there's the finished uh, product with the butchery we had to do. Uh, I had to cut this down pretty low. Again, you're not going to see any of this um, because of the retaining wall. So I don't, I don't really care. Uh, I had to cut this back in a little bit right here because of the legs I put in the back of the log loader uh, wouldn't fit. So I just notched those out. No big deal there. Putting the log loader back in its place. Like that uh, gives us the telltale sign. She makes it all the way down. Nice. So let me just show you a couple of details here, a little bit closer up, we'll point some stuff out, and then uh, we'll call that a day. Okay, one of the things I was trying to achieve, and I think I have, is that deck being right about flush with the top of that, um, that gondola right there, the pulpwood car. And you know, kind of looking at it down here, just panning along there, that just looks really awesome. 
I'm really happy with how this looks. This is how I envisioned it. It's a little taller than I think I wanted it, but come the end of the day, I think it looks pretty good. So what we're gonna end up doing then, right in here somewhere, we have to figure out what we're gonna do here. This is something I think I'll install permanently on the layout so I can take the log loader out for maintenance uh, and just leave this in up to this little dirt road. I, maybe more of this retaining wall up to here like that. We need a retaining wall built in back here because we cut all that mountain out, as you know. Okay, just before we get on that ramp that we're gonna put in that the horsey's coming on, uh, I just wanna show you a little something that I made uh, over here for the logging ramp. Uh, we'll go in and, we'll just go in and take it out for a second so I can show you. I went ahead and put these little cleats in right here. Um, that I'm using so that when I put the log loading ramp back in there, uh, the front of it butts up against those. It kind of holds it in place. It's a pretty cool deal. Um, I was having a hard time keeping it level and, and flat and in position, and these really help out quite a bit. You just go ahead and uh, put the ramp in where it goes, and you can see those little cleats butt right up against those posts holding the ramp up. So it centers it right where it's supposed to go, and it keeps it tucked back in there pretty good. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty happy with it. Moving on. I went and pulled these two trees back out. Um, even though I, I kind of glued them in, I had to pull them back out. <laughs> it's the regular guy curse again, but not as bad as before. Anyway, um, it's just I right here, this incline is, is pretty steep. I, I don't really like it uh, all that much. So I think what we're going to have to do is continue to cut into our brand new mountain. Um, I'm going to go in there and I think I'm going to hack some of this off. Right, right about down to here. Something smooth out that transition a little bit. And then, um, you know, we're going to put some dirt over it. So we'll camouflage it. We're going to have to do some painting as it is. But uh, I think for right now, I just want to go through and see if I can hack that down. So I guess the first thing we'll do is go ahead and pull the old log loading ramp out so we don't beat the snot out of it while we're doing this. And then um, we'll go ahead and get the old uh, keyhole saw out here and see what happens. Well, we are just tearing the crap out of the side of my mountain over there. Look at it. It's, it's hanging off like something from some sci-fi movie. Oh my gosh. Hey, uh, again, I don't know if we should call this a how-to channel unless we're talking about how to do things uh, more than once in front of everybody, but whatever. Uh, moving along, let's get the old log loading ramp back where it goes. Right there using our little cleats to hold it in and I'll just find something to lay up in there and see kind of what the incline looks like eyeball wise. I just grab me a piece of scrap wood here and just you now I got a little got a little piece in the way still. I don't think that's such a bad incline right there. Even from like this perspective here, you can sort of see that it's just a gentle incline. I think I can live with that actually. If you guys can, I can. Bob's your uncle. All right, so now back to the task at hand. I've seen earlier that I might want to just put that in place and only have the log loading ramp uh, movable. I think we still might uh, I think we still might do that. So I think what I'll do is build me a retaining wall that's basically the height of from here to here and set it up in there and then sort of score along where I want it and then just cut it off uh, to get the angle I want. And then I got stuff that's like this that are straight up and down, but it'll sort of retain up like this. And uh, I can sort of sculpt it into a piece 
and then put some kind of a start put the deck on after that anyway that's kind of what i'm going to try i've never done this before and uh, i keep saying that and it keeps being true so uh let's get her done all right so i kind of got everything cleaned up here and i went through and made myself a little retaining wall uh, i did this the same way using um, toothpicks cut them up weathered them uh, made them look like this kind of digging it to be honest with you but there's something that we need to take a look at uh, when i put this up here kind of like this because there's gonna be a retaining wall there not that one but it's gonna be something like that and then we put this up against there not a whole lot of room for a road a little path to get off of there so what I'm thinking I have to do is put this a little bit more out let's say like that and then the retaining wall would be like back here and that gives us just about enough room to make it convincing that uh, that's where the path goes. If we get too close, I'm going to be on this rail right here, and that's obviously no bueno. So if we put that kind of kind of there. What do you think? You guys like it? I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Let's see what happens if we push this further over. Say the retaining wall starts there, uh, this retaining wall, and then this coming up right there okay that's gonna be pretty close to the track but you know that's how they built it in the logging camp so that's the way it's gonna be I think I need to go through then and make this little retaining wall and we need to cut this one either cut this one or cut the terrain so it sits down in there it's clearly a little too tall at this end but up there it's not going to be too tall so I'll tell you what screw it let's just pull that rock out that's what we're doing right now watch <laughs> oh that rock is glued in people okay you know why it's not a rock it's a sculptor mold and now it's trash Okay, we take that rock out, set that back in there. And I bet we can do is either cut that or dig a little channel down in that styrofoam and sculpt the mold and just push that down in there. Which from a regular guy's perspective, that's probably what I would do. So how we do that? Well, try that with an X-Acto knife maybe. Coming right in here. That's close. Need to go down a little more right up to about where that tree stump is. Well, that retaining wall is level, which is cool. I like it like that. A uh, little close to where the skeleton log cars go. The heck of it will bring in a pulpwood car because I have one handy. See, that's about as far as they're going to be able to go. If we go any further, it's going to hit that wall. I think I need to swing it around just a little bit more. I'm not happy with that. I ended up uh, just pushing that back a little bit here. Still leaving a pretty wide path, at least for the sake of what we're doing. And push that back that way a little bit more. Okay, well, I like that. Uh, who's with me? Yay, everybody's with me. So... What happens now in my grand scheme of things is, whether it's hard to see or not, I don't know, but I need the path, the top of the path, to be at the top of that log. And I need the bottom of the path to probably be at that log, the top of that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five logs down and one log down. Now I guess I got a couple of choices. I can either just cut that diagonally, which I don't think will look right, or maybe go like one log, two logs, three logs, no. One log, two logs, three logs, four logs, five logs. Maybe we'll do that. We'll just take out one log every eight feet or whatever that is and uh, then cut it all up. All right, I'll take that back to the hobby table and do that. Uh, while I'm at the hobby table, I'm going to go ahead and build me this retaining wall. 
And once we have those together, uh, I think we'll go through and, and add the dirt and all this. And I think that'll be pretty close to buttoned up. Okay, so there we go. Got the uh, the new little retaining wall in back there. Kind of happy with the way that came out. I had to do a little more digging down in here to sort of set that and get it level. And I guess I could have trimmed the bottom of it, but I kind of like it looking like that. A uh, couple of uh, problems as we continue to deal with this that I'll show you here right now. So as we scan along here, we can see I've got this area right here. Uh, I'm going to fill that in with some sculpt mold, but I'm not certain how it's going to come out because it's it's kind of the rock thing here, kind of overhangs. Might need to do some terraforming there. Not really thrilled by that at this juncture, but you know it is what it is. Uh, back up in here, of course. Oh, there goes my wall. Back up in here, of course, we're going to put the uh, the dirt path that leads out. That's not going to be such a big deal. But as we scan along, we come to these two deals right here. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. That, I got to just knock the edge off of those. And then we're going to sculpt them all back through here. Then uh, repaint it all. I think it's going to look pretty good when it's done. And we're back in the studio. Yes, got the log loading ramp installed finally up in the logging camp. Next week, we'll put some sculpt mold up there, paint it and fix up the scenery all around it. And then we're going to move on to the other details in the logging camp. It's going to be a great episode. Make sure you tune in. So this is the kind of stuff we do here on It's My Railroad and Sidetrack. If you haven't subscribed, why don't you just do that now? Make sure you like and share this video with somebody. Don't forget to connect with us on Facebook. And until next time, my name is Steve Brown. Rail on, my friends.